We just went over half of it during our open. No, we went over both guys because Jonathan Quick kind of being called out, challenged by Daryl Sutter. He'll get to start 12 in on the season. I mentioned first start versus the Kings since the 2012 Stanley Cup final, but the third start of the season, fourth appearance for Martin Brodeur. He is in goal for the St. Louis Blues. The officials for tonight's game. That man right there is Chris Rooney. He'll be joined by, there's Chris, Jean Hébert on the lines, Lonnie Cameron, Don Henderson. Tonight's Fox Sports West faceoff is delivered by Shoebox right now, play-by-play, -play, Hall of Famer Bob Miller. All right, Jim, thank you very much. This game underway as Carter tips it down into the St. Louis zone. Petrangelo going for it there. He gets checked. The puck comes free. Kopitar has it. Kopitar along the boards, and the puck sent around the right-wing side of the St. Louis zone and played there and sent out to center ice and down to the King Blue line where Bacchus has it. T.J. Oshie in the lineup tonight for the St. Louis Blues. He missed the game two nights ago in St. Louis due to the death of his aunt, but he is back with the team and in action tonight. Long shot knocked away by Brodeur. Comes all the way out to the blue line and taken by St. Louis. Sent across the line there by Steve Ott. Chased down into the corner by Regeer. Kings in their own zone. Ott over to try and throw a check, but the puck comes to Clifford. Here's Kyle Clifford on the right side. He drives it deep in the St. Louis zone. And the Blues back to get it. Butler gets double teamed down the corner, and a penalty coming up here against the Kings here in the first period. Kyle Clifford's going to go off for the board. It looks like Jaskin was back. I believe it may have been the defenseman. Number 25, Chris Butler. Yeah, it was Butler. He was already down low after initial contact from Mike Richards. But then we'll see what happens right here. He's low, and there comes Clifford in. And what the official is, I assume, going to say... He's going to give him a rough on the play. Very interesting call, very interesting circumstance. Again, I think the referee there just trying to figure out something because of the odd way in which Clifford went into Butler. I didn't see much problem with it. I saw Clifford kind of easing up. I saw him minimizing contact, roughing. So I guess the referee may have saw a punch that we didn't see. Power play right away for the St. Louis Blues. And the Blues are third in the NHL on the power play. The King penalty killing, 14th in the league, and the Blues have it. Here are the right side, held in there, and now the Blues move it around to the left side, up the middle, shot from there by Steen, and it's just wide off the boards. Gathered in by the Blues again. Get it back to the blue line. Steen moves it down the left side. Now down in back behind the net. Great chance for the Blues to take the lead. Back to Shattenkirk. Shattenkirk at the right point. Gives it down the right wing side. Blues have it. Fans getting into it now with a go Kings go. Back to the right point. Shattenkirk gets it over left side. Steen back in front. Tipped wide by Quick. Taken by the Blues. They get it to Tarasenko. Tarasenko had three goals in the last game. Now Steen shoots. And a save and another save by Quick. He got his leg out in time. The Kings take it and Dowdy clears it into the St. Louis zone. You can't take any chances right there. Not only the shot, but something that misses earlier was off the boards right there, extending himself. Jonathan Quick has to keep his eye on about five different guys because of the danger of the St. Louis Blues with the man advantage. They have so many options. Blues with it again. Petrangelo in the King zone. Gives it back to the right side. Taken by T.J. Oshie. Oshie to Petrangelo across the ice. A pass going to be taken away by Green. And he clears for the Kings into the St. Louis zone. You can see the difference right there. If the Kings get the time to put the pressure on, it's a whole different story. Right there, Martin Brodeau with a long pass. That's not unusual. That's one thing you have to scout and keep your eye on it. David Backus leads the Blues in power play goals with five. Puck is held in. Here's Backus down in the corner. Sends it around. Now comes up the middle, and the Blues still on the power play for another 25 seconds. They get it back to the right point. Alex Petrangelo shoots, and it's tipped in the middle and taken away and cleared by Carter. There's Carter. He understands one thing. Once he sees the shot get through, he turns around. He faces his own goal and waits for any garbage that's going to develop. He collapses down low, stick free to clear the puck. Blues are a good road power play team, too. They're third in the league on the road as well as overall. And now it comes right toward Brodeur, and he stops it there. And the Kings are back at full strength. The Blues with four shots on the power play, but the Kings kill it off. Now behind the play, we've got a fight breaking out. Shattenkirk into a scrap, and he gets knocked down there. It's and Justin Williams, Bob. That's Justin Williams. We saw him earlier in the year try to scrap with Yevgeny Malkin. I believe it was in Pittsburgh. But this time here, right in the offensive zone. Wow. Shattenkirk, offensive defenseman. Certainly a big part 
of the Blues and their offense and just moving the puck. And Justin Williams comes out and says, you know what? We're going to just send a little bit of a, a message, not necessarily to the Blues. We'll see it down low. Both guys, they come together right side of your screen, and they're just, they're kind of jawing each other all the way there. And these are kind of, I'm not even going to say middleweight, maybe even lower than that. And you can see the balance there by Justin. Looked like he had a, kind of a straight arm. The Jonathan Quick save, right? You see off the toe? That came off the boards. You have to be watching everything. The boards here at Staples Center are slower than most. But that one hit perfectly to get right back to the front. Kings take the puck and it's thrown in by Dwight King and Brodeur clears it. I thought the linesman was looking for a fumble on that pylon. <laughs> he came diving in there. <laughs> Five minutes each for fighting the, uh, the penalties. And the Blues have it in their own zone. It is cleared up in the air by Maxim Lapierre out to center ice. He goes for it again. Puck taken away by the Kings, and they get it over to McNabb. Here's Braden McNabb. Shoots and a save and a rebound right up the middle. But the Blues get there as Barrett Jackman had it. Puck comes back down into the corner, and a tripping penalty against the Blues. And the Kings are going to go on the power play. Lapierre is going to go to the penalty box. Yeah, change the point of attack for the Kings. Back and forth, back and forth, and the Blues can't catch up. That scrap you were talking about Bob with Shattenkirk you see the balance is the issue and then the referee the linesman comes in and just what's going on here hey guys break it up and they certainly do I'm sure Shattenkirk not necessarily known for this either as Williams but Williams again I, I mentioned sending a message that's not to the Blues that's to his own team he wants to make sure everyone ready to go Lindbaum gets the tripping penalty and the Kings on the power play here is Gabrick Kaepernick, he kind of got hooked there. The puck comes up the middle. Carter with a turn, shoots, it's blocked. Held in by the Kings again. At the left point, here is Muzzin. Muzzin slides it over to Doughty. Doughty feeds it back on the right wing side. Kings on the power play. Shot by Kopitar, blocked and taken by Petrangelo. He takes his time and he clears it into the King zone. Kopitar's shot is blocked. You don't want that, obviously, but what you do want is the attitude. And I mentioned in the opening, shoot, shoot, shoot. You've got to do it in the pregame show. I think that's what they're going to look for from Andre Kopitar. And I think his line mates, his teammates expect that right now. Shoot as much as possible. Blues take it away, and they bring it back to center ice. Oshie gives it on the left side, looking for a shorthander, and a save made by Quick. And he hangs on to it. Well, Quick had to be very poised right there and very calm and conservative because he stayed at home. Berglund had the chance and Quick just stays there on the two-on-one. Good drive to the net. Take away the pass. Leave the shooter for the goaltender. That's exactly what happens right there. And Jonathan Quick has to come up big. Short-handed situation. Blues win the draw. Jackman with a shot wide and the Kings still on the power play have it back in their own zone. Puck taken now and moved up along the boards as the Kings break out to center. And here on the left side, Pearson fires it back behind the net. It comes into the corner. Chasing it down is Richards. Jackman is on him. Richards knocks Jackman down. Brown gets it back to the right point. Held in there by Martinez. Now a shot deflected over to McNabb. And then in front and taking a whack out of there. But missing as it went wide. And the puck comes back out to center ice. It was Richards over on the right side of the net. McNabb. Comes in back door on that play, but it all started with Dustin Brown. Very active, very aggressive, very assertive to get that shot on goal. The first one's not going to score, but the second one might. Puck goes back behind the net, and it is Pearson can't get there to get it. Blues take it away, and they clear it again. Now with 19 seconds left to go on the power play, and the Kings do not have a shot on goal yet. Here is Martinez. Martinez moves it off on the right. Kings bring it up to center ice with a man advantage. Here's Dwight King into the corner. Didn't see the puck. It's picked up there and ripped around the boards, but not out. Kings hold it in. They get it back to Muzzin. Muzzin waits. He shoots and just wide. And the power play is over. Blues are back at full strength. Still no score here in the first period. And now it's thrown in front of the net, but gloved by Brodeur. Now Martin Brodeur, he's an active goaltender. Brodeur's style throughout his career, he's not a butterfly guy, he's not a stand-up guy, he's kind of a hybrid guy. And the King's moving around, here's that backdoor play, I was talking with McNabb, goes all the way across, swing, he gets it, just a piece, a piece of it right there for Mike Richards, but certainly not enough. But that was at least the second time in this period where the Kings did a good job of changing the point of attack in behind the net or down low in that situation where you're looking for the shot from one side, quick pass all the way to the other. Last 11 games overall against the Blues. The Kings are 8-3. and three. Puck is taken by the Blues now, though, as they come out of their own zone. 
up ahead to center ice, and Oshie got hit at center ice, but the puck is picked up and thrown down deep into the zone in the King zone by Chris Butler. Puck comes around the boards, and it is cleared up ahead to center ice by Gabrick to Kopitar to Carter, right side. He shoots, and a glove stop by Brodeur. So a little animosity here early in this first period between these two teams. Back at Staples Center, Hyundai keys to the game. Uh, 60 minutes, the Kings will try to get that again. Real good the other night, just could not finish it off. Control the blue line. It seemed in the last game, whichever team had speed at the offensive blue line was able to get that attack, and a lot of goals were scored that way. Defensive zone and the penalty kill. The Kings want to score more. The numbers are decent. They want to score more, but it all starts with defense. Everyone, Daryl Sutter, Robin Regeer, Dustin Brown, all of those guys talking about the King's ID identity. And that identity means to play solid D, and they want to do that here tonight. Kings win the draw. St. Louis zone, a shot by Doughty is wide and off the boards and deflected about a play. And went off the top dasher right there and then high over top. Just missing. Good little screen right there, and Daryl Sutter behind the bench. And certainly talking about the last road trip and saying the penalty kill let them down at key times and you know just straight forward of course it was the third period and trying to get some kills and part of that what he was talking about is trying to get some big saves from your goaltender cliche time best penalty killer has to be your goaltender now the puck taken there and cleared out to center ice by Bomeister for the blues no score here in the first period sent down the right side and down in deep chased into the corner by Stosny Stosny has it again he walks out in front wrap around knocked away by quick Kings get it up on the right side now to Carter Carter to Gabrick Gabrick at center a backhand pass but the Blues gonna go back and get it Kings are gonna change on the fly back up to center ice now Blues with it thrown by Petrangelo now up the middle a shot up high and over the net by Steve Ott that one came over top of the net back to the front of the net so we've had a couple of bounces one low one high the Blues are without Jaden Schwartz. He had a broken foot blocking a shot in that game two nights ago in St. Louis. Played the rest of the game and I thought played really well, but he is out of the lineup for St. Louis tonight. Puck is cleared up on the left side and out to center by Brodeur. And that'll be something the Blues will have to get used to. Martin Brodeur as a defenseman, you're going back for the puck. A lot of times when you play with Brodeur, you just kind of peel off and become a receiver. You don't have to skate all the way to get the puck because Brodeur will make the pass. Butler moves it off on the right side, and the Blues back up to center ice. No score here in the first period. And a check by Dwight King at center ice. He throws a check there on Pateri Lindbaum. Kings have it in their own zone. Here's Regeer. Leads the Kings and hits with 100. Sends it down into the St. Louis zone, and Barrett Jackman gathers it behind the net. He heads it up to the blue line. Blues come back up to center. Here on the right side, Oshie, and he got hit hard and rocked back by McNabb. Boy, McNabb has come up with a lot of those hits lately as he gets more comfortable at the blue line. A shot from the right point by Petrangelo is wide. Now Bacchus goes for it. Puck is battled for and taken by Richards, and then he gets bumped into the boards by Bacchus. Kings chase it down here in deep, and it is King trying to get to it, but moving in front of him was Bomeister. Petrangelo back to center ice for the Blues. Thrown down into the King zone and Green over to throw a check and now the puck comes back to McNabb. McNabb moves it up the left side. Kings clear it out to center. Chased down by Brown, but he had to stop to get it and then it's just tipped away by Butler, but off on the right side. In deep a shot, save and a rebound. Covered by Brodeur. The first shot by Doughty and the save was made and then covered up. Any team early in the game wants to establish the physical presence and the Kings are doing that here in the first period. Real good first period in the last game. Here it is, McNabb. McNabb is deceptive. It's almost like a change of pace move when he's going for the hit. Earlier, it was King. And then, of course, Marbred Tambrodor facing a lot of traffic here in the first period. You'll see just off the bench is Dowdy. Watch Dowdy fake, go around, and Brodeur just stays up as long as possible. There's a lot of goaltenders, again, just talking about style. We've seen it so many years with, with Brodeur. A lot of goaltenders nowadays, before that shot was even taken, would have been down on their knees into the butterfly. Not the case with Brodeur. He will get down there, but not at the start. Not necessarily known as a flexible goaltender. He just kind of wills his way to make the saves. Well, we know where he's going to wind up in a few years. That's going to be at the Hall of Fame in Toronto. Face off in the blue zone, and the Blues win the draw here. But the Kings over in a hurry to get it. 
here along the boards is Brown. Now it comes out to center and thrown uh, by Muzzin to the blue line of St. Louis. Sent back into the king zone now and tipped into the corner. Taken there by Dowdy to Brown. Brown up ahead to center ice. Picked up there and a tripping penalty. No, wait a minute. No tripping penalty. Kept, puck came across the line. A pirouetting penalty. Oh, there's one right there. That's a hit from behind. And unfortunately, the referee standing right there did not see it. So the, the physical nature of the first period is pretty exciting to watch. Now a penalty coming up. I think interference. Yeah, yeah exactly. So you just kind of knew something was going to go on here. Something was going to happen. And both teams feisty, and you got to like it. You got to like the way things are going. Back has turned the last game around. He really did. He became a physical force before the Blues got their first goal. Wasn't even on the ice. Here's the hit I was talking about. He comes in. Now, you can see the near referee right there, the action ref. Jean Hebert does not make the call number 15. Then it was a little bit later. There it is right there, maybe. Or is he going behind the net? There was a few plays going on with Bacchus. So a lot of different contacts, a lot of different situations. And of course, it was not even Bacchus. It was Shattenkirk. I mentioned those first two were not picked up. I thought that first one on Lewis was kind of obvious. The referees felt uh, different. In front of the net is Shattenkirk on Brown. That's the reason for the call. Second chance for the Kings, man. Advantage. Blues right now to this point this season, one of 11 on the power play against the Blues, but they've got a chance here. See if they can take the lead. We're in the first period. Bob Miller with Jim Fox. No score in the game so far. And the draw taken by the Blues and cleared quickly out to center. Blues penalty killing tied for 15th in the league at 81%. Kings tied for 21st on the power play, but only four of their last 36. Puck comes to Muzzin, can't handle it. Puck taken away and cleared to the blue line, but held in by Dowdy with a nice play. Now the loose puck. Kings move it over to Gabrick. Now the Kings set up the power play. Now Dowdy. Dowdy walks the line. Dowdy gets the right side. Shot from there by Muzzin. Shin it uh, wide to the right. I thought maybe broke a stick for a moment, but he's got it again. Muzzin's pass along the boards to Kopitar. Up the middle to Gabrick. Back to Kopitar. Now across the ice to Dowdy, and he couldn't handle it. And it comes back out to center ice. Minute 12 left to go in the King power play. Here's Dowdy. At center, and he gives it over now to McNabb, who comes out on the power play. McNabb throws it down in deep. Going to be taken away there, and it is cleared by the Blues. Chris Butler all the way back into the King zone. That was textbook as far as pressure and angle by the St. Louis Blues. You kind of lull the Kings into a false sense of security, close the gap, angle at the blue line, and the Kings don't get possession. Steen in to take it away, and the Kings get it back again and bring it up to center ice. Here across the line, left side. Driving down and pulling up against the boards. The puck back to the blue line. It was Lewis. Gives it back over again. Now to the blue line to McNabb. Right side. Shot from there. Blocked and clear. The shot by Martinez was blocked. And a long pass into the King zone is stopped by Quick. David back is there, Bobby. Just goes to the shooting lane. The Kings really moved it around well. But he goes to the lane. He's there for the block. Kings have no shots yet on this power play, and it's cleared again by the Blues back into the King zone. I mentioned kind of controlling the blue line. Well, right here, the Blues are controlling the blue line even though they're shorthanded, not allowing the entry with possession for the Kings, and you can't set it up. Braden McNabb moves it ahead to center, and the power play is over for the Kings. They're 0 for 2. They had no shots on that power play, and a hard check again by the Kings, and a penalty coming up against Regeer. I think they're going to say interference. They're going to say the puck wasn't possessed by the St. Louis Blues player. It was Steve Ott. It was actually Regeer and Ott were having a nice conversation in the warm-up before the game starts. They get together once the game does start. It will be interference, but you really can't blame Regeer. Watch the puck. It ends up bouncing over the stick of Steve Ott. You take a, a stride to, to close the gap. You take the body. You really can't predict that the puck's going to bounce over the stick. Now, the referee sees it. He sees that Ott doesn't touch it, and he's not necessarily fair game, but regera has got to do what he does there. If you back off from that one, or maybe at the last split second you get a chance to recognize the fact that Ott didn't get a chance to touch it, but on a bouncing puck, can't really do much more than that. 0 for 1 so far. This is the second power play. The Blues did have four shots on the first one, but of course in the last game they moved it around very well in the third period. Tarasenko out on the ice, their leading scorer, and the puck comes back to the blue line. They get it over to Tarasenko. Now up the middle again. A shot from there is wide and played by Steen, Alexander Steen. Steen put it back into the corner. Now Berglund gets it back to the blue line. Now back over to Berglund. 
He's cut off by Carter. To the blue line to Steen. Right side it goes. Now tipped and Carter tried to get there but couldn't get his stick on it. Puck comes over now and a shot by Shattenkirk is deflected up and out of play. You no, know, Terrace Ankle Bob, that shift, he started on the right side. He moved all the way across to the left side. Of course, you have the scouting report. You know what's going on. You just played this team. And I'm sure Tarasenko, after scoring three, understands he's got to do something different. So now he's back to the right side. Left hand shot on the right side. But he did a lot more movement there on that first part of the power play just to try and find some space to get open. Tarasenko with 20 goals on the year, tied for second most in the NHL. He's got four game-winning goals this year, which ties him for second in the NHL. But the Kings get to it. and. Clear it back into the St. Louis zone. You know, win that face off, especially on the penalty kill. Steen back to get it. His father, Thomas Steen, played for the Winnipeg Jets years ago. Now up to center on the right side to Shattenkirk. Shattenkirk comes across the line. He got stopped there. Lewis picks it up. Lewis playing in his 300th NHL game tonight. And he clears it back down into the St. Louis zone. Nice follow by Lewis. Just keep going, keep going. Nice read by Martinez. Both guys close the gap. Back to center on the power play, St. Louis Blues into the King zone. Stasny drops it back, and the Blues clear themselves out to center. Tried to get it back to the blue line, but they didn't get there in time to hold it in. Now on the right side, Petrangelo. Alex Petrangelo shoots, it's wide. Rebound, Blues keep it alive. Back to the blue line it goes. T.J. Oshie, right point. Oshie shoots, blocked. Picked up, and the Kings have it in their own zone. Here is King, and he clears it out to center. McNabb blocked the shot, and then it was cleared by King. Blues get it back to Bacchus on the right side. His pass to Oshi. Oshi had it tipped away. He goes for it again. Gets it to the blue line. Taken there by the Blues. And a shot. Tipped and a score. Bacchus was right in front. And it's 1-0 Blues. They score on the power play. That's where Bacchus makes his living offensively. There's no doubt that he's going to go to the front of the net. Earlier, Bobby mentioned with McNabb blocking the shot. You don't want to get locked up with Bacchus because it'll create a double screen. This time here, he just goes to the front, and I'm not sure if it goes off the stick. It just may go off the inside of his leg. The one thing he's preventing is quick to get position, even more so than taking away the eyes. Look at Quick in behind. Yes, it goes off the shaft of the stick. So it's going to the glove side of Quick, and because of the position and the screen and the stick contact, David Backus does what he does as well as anyone. Power play goals, that's his specialty. That is power play goal number six on the season for Bacchus. And I'm pretty sure all of them right from the front of the net. And Bo Meester will get an assist on it. The Kings bring it back into the St. Louis zone. Now down one nothing. Kings control it, and it is taken away by the Blues and tipped out to center. Kings are trying to get it over to Muzzin. Puck is picked up by the Blues and cleared up ahead to center and tipped down into the Kings zone. Icing call against St. Louis. Bacchus gets his eighth of the year. Bo Meester gets one assist on it. And the Blues, with a power play goal, have the one nothing lead. You just keep a look right in front there. You have one, two, three players, two Kings, one Blue. And again, because you play defense nowadays by fronting, and that's what Matt Green does, that's not unusual, but in behind is Bacchus. So if it does get through on the wrist shot, it's going to be dangerous. It got through, and it ended up in the net. Blues clear it to the blue line, but not out yet. Taken there, and a shot by Brown is just deflected wide and picked up by Williams. Williams checked along the boards, throws it down into the corner, taken away by the Kings. Pass up in the air and tipped out of play. Well, time now for tonight's Mercedes-Benz Star Watch, brought to you by Mercedes-Benz dealers of uh, Southern California. We know these guys. We know what they can do. Tarasenko, he did it three times in the last game. 20 goals, second best. Deceptive, side to side, lateral, straight ahead, always keeps the puck in a shooting position. Jeff Carter, one of the Kings players that everyone's hoping will turn it around. Daryl Sutter was very point blank yesterday at practice, just saying he has not scored in a month. 13 games, Jeff Carter needs to get on the board. Carter with no goals in the last 13 games, and yeah, Daryl said, I ain't had that, and I keep track of them. Puck comes up to center, and the Blues get it off on the right side, but broken up by Brown. Dustin Brown with it. His pass knocked down by LaPierre, and the Blues in the King zone have it again. Here on the right side, Berglund back to the blue line. Shot from there. A score from the point. The shot by Lindbaum. 
from out of the right point, and that deflected in, and it's 2-0 St. Louis. And this shot has a plan to it. It's a low shot. It gets through the first attempted block, and then when it's, it gets through, it's dangerous because of the high tip. It's a high slot position by the Blues. Everyone moving on this. The Blues with Limbaugh takes a shot, but here it is. Watch this. Back between his own legs, and Berglund is right there. I'm going to change it. That's Jaskin. He gets back in the lineup, recalled because of the injury to Schwartz. And look at this. Good position. Face the shooter. You want to face the shooter, you can see where the puck's coming from. But everyone was involved on that play for the St. Louis Blues. And, of course, the stick was on the ice. May seem simple there for Jaskin. Stick on the ice. Makes a target. The target was hit. Deflection works. 2-0 Blues. So now the Kings in the first period down 2-0, and they tip it away over to Pearson. Tanner Pearson up to center. Pearson makes a move, goes in around Petrangelo. Pearson down the corner. Now goes behind the net. Tried to get it over to Lewis. He didn't get it, but Pearson did again. And Toffoli was in front, but they couldn't get it to him. Otera staying at home to play some solid D. Here is Toffoli to Pearson to Toffoli. His pass went right to Steve Ott. And Ott brings it out to center and flips it into the king zone. Then Ott is knocked down there as he came across the line. Slashing is going to be the call, Bob. Drew Doughty reached out, took a swing, broke the stick of Steve Ott. Ott goes down on the contact, but it was the swing of the stick. Doughty doesn't like it, but it was an obvious one from up here. Blues lead it. Two to nothing. Our facts brought to you by Frost Brewed Coors Light. And yes, it's a fact the Kings have lost five of six. It is also a fact they're currently holding a playoff spot and only two points back of second place in the Pacific. Kings fans have every right to be concerned, unhappy with the team's power play, penalty kill, D-zone coverage. But we know it's a slump. Drew Doughty said Kings top players have to outplay the other team's top players. Same with the role players. Everybody has to show up. This is a bigger slump than they're used to, but it's going to make it a bigger challenge. So that's Drew Doughty unfiltered, Jim. He always says the right thing. You're exactly right. He just plays the game like a kid. He unfiltered is exactly the way with Drew Doughty. He wants to get something going here. Always confident, always positive. Blues on the power play and a shot from the blue line deflected wide. They are one out of two on the power play with five shots. The Kings with it and it's cleared. That last goal, Jaskins getting his second of the year from Lindbaum and Berglund at 14.23. So the Blues with two goals on consecutive shots a minute 11 apart. Puck driven down in the King zone again. Comes over on the right wing side. Brown couldn't get a stick on it. Blues get it back over to Steen. Steen out of the right point. He moves it to the middle, gets it back again. Steen with it. Feeds it on the right wing side. Taken there by T.J. Oshie. Oshie hanging on. Back to Steen. Held it in with his skate. Back to Oshie. Oshie shoots and is wide to the left. Held in by the Blues. They get it back to the blue line. Now Oshie again. Oshie's pass up the middle. Back to the blue line. Left side. Shot from there. Score! And the Blues on the power play have a 3-0 lead. Shattenkirk. You want to put together a tape for puck movement, this is it. It's because everyone wants the puck, everyone is demanding the puck, but all five guys are working together. And watch the one-touch passing. They use the middle a couple times just to kind of draw attention. Right to the middle, right back, and then right over. You change that point of attack so much, and the one-timer is there, beats Jonathan Quick on the short side. Shattenkirk doesn't waste any time. It's high, it's perfectly placed. But again, how they used all five men to draw attention to the middle, then back to the outside, then over. All one touching. That's one thing you work on. A lot of teams work on power play and practices, Bob, without any penalty killers out there, just to improve that motion and that movement and the passing. That was absolutely textbook. 3 nothing for the St. Louis Blues. Fifth of the year for Shattenkirk. A power play comes at 16.02. And the Kings are down 3 nothing with four minutes to go here in this first period. There's so much purpose, too, isn't there, on that power play? The purpose is there because the shooters always seem to be in a one-time situation, a one-time motion. When they get it, they shoot it. Kings hold it in the St. Louis zone. Here now is Williams. Williams, nice pass to Muzzin. He shoots and a save, Brodeur. Yeah, Brodeur fighting his way to find that one. Circling the wagons on the play was Jake Muzzin, and of course he activated 3-0, you're going to activate right now. Good puck protection. Williams is known for that. Watch the goaltender here in behind. He knows he's screened, but Brodeur, with that experience, doesn't let it bother him at all. He establishes his position first, does not look for a better position. He knows he has it covered, at least from the short side. 
Screen was not in effect because it was off to the side. Makes the save, holds on, no rebound. St. Louis two out of three in the first period on the power play, and they've had three goals on their last four shots. And they have a 3-0 lead. Now the Kings with a shot by Gabrick, but it's high and over the net. And the puck comes down into the corner, and the Blues control it in their own zone. And that's one of those things, Bob. Again, the identity of the LA Kings, regardless of whether it's five on five, it's still a defensive mindset. And now the penalty kill, two games in a row, has really gone the other way. That's a big hill to overcome. Right now, the late penalty here against the Blues. Here's Gabrick giving it up to Williams. He got tripped and. The delayed penalty was being called for slashing. They could have got one there, I think, for tripping. Yeah, that would be interesting, of course. That's how the St. Louis Blues turned the game around last game. When they were trailing, they had the five on three. Not going to be the case here. Butler gets the slash. But again, Williams, Bob, as you mentioned, carried through and was looking for something as far as a trip. So, long, long way to go here. 313 remaining first. Blues have controlled with, a, with an absolute textbook performance so far and now that other part of the specialty teams has to come to life for the Kings Kings are 0 for 2 they've had one shot that last power play the Kings had they did not get any possession entries one way to do that here win a face off and they do it comes to uh, Kopitar the corner as Carter won the draw now to the blue line they try to get it to Muzzin it's tipped away by LaPierre so let's see what the Kings do with this power play they start back out of their own zone Doughty up to center. Doughty's hard pass over to Kopitar in the right wing. Kopitar went to stop, lost his balance, went down, got some help from Carter. Carter gets it back to the right point to Doughty, shovels it to Carter. Carter into Kopitar. Kopitar still with it on his stick. His pass in front and tipped wide into the corner and then behind the net taken by the Kings. But a pass going to be taken away maybe by the Blues. No. Good play by the Kings to hold it in. Here now is... Now it's uh, Muzzin. Muzzin shoots and it's blocked into the corner. Picked up by the Blues and cleared to the blue line but not out. Held in there by Dowdy. Now Gabrick up the middle. Pass in front. Carter and Pope checked off his stick. Then it went in. It came over to Gabrick. And the Kings score on it. Well, it was tipped away by Brodeur and then Gabrick put it in. And it's 3-1 now, St. Louis. Now you're going to get some excitement in this game. We saw it early. It was feisty. Then the Blues took over. Now the Kings keep it going. Blues right there with LaPierre. That is the cardinal sin. You have the puck on your stick. You can't clear it. But then the Kings go with a one touch. And Brodeur thought he had everyone fooled in the building. He certainly did. And Brodeur made the play. Watch right here. Poke check, but follow up. And because the Kings were all moving. Perpetual motion by the Kings. Good poke check, but right to the stick of Gabrick. That was five guys working together. That's a good sign. That's a positive sign. Works on the power play. And you got to like the way the Kings and their top offensive players move the puck around. Kings back with it, too. Gabrick, four goals in the last three games. And boy, did the Kings need that one near the end of the first period. Under two minutes to go. And Kings finally get on the board. Now the puck comes back across the line, broken up by the Kings. They get it to Stoll. Stoll sends it to the St. Louis line. Taken away there, and the Blues send it into the Kings' zone. Berglund goes for it, couldn't get it. Kings have it. The goal by Gabrick, his eighth of the year, came on the power play. Carter and Kopitar with the assist at 17.45, and Brodeur covers this up and hangs on. Yeah, a little bit of a weird bounce in behind there. So the Kings, but Lapierre can't keep it in. Watch the movement to one side to the other, and then Kopitar will able to do a little bit of a one-touch. It's kind of a two-touch, but it's so quick that the Blues, you can see there, great look there where the Blues are just scrambling. They're moving around. Now, it started because LaPierre doesn't get it out. And that's one of those things where you only get one chance on the penalty kill. If you don't get it out, the other team's going to make you pay, and the Kings do so. But even before that, it was Jeff Carter, that first man pressure, expending energy just to create a loose puck to keep it alive. Four goals in the period, three of them on the power play, and the Kings sent it in front to Clifford, and he just couldn't jam it by Brodeur. Puck comes back to center with a minute 20 left to go in the period. Backus sends it deep into the King zone and back to get it is Muzzin. Muzzin protects the puck and gets it out the left side. And here's Clifford. Clifford got it up to center ice. Poked ahead now by Richards into the St. Louis zone. Clifford steamrolls in, tried to get to it, couldn't do it. Puck taken by the Blues. Backus back up to center ice. Now sent down in by Oshie. Less than a minute to go in the first period. Going to have the... 
snow report at the end of this period, so stick around for that. And here's Clifford getting it up to center ice, taken away for a moment by the Blues, and then they control it back at their own blue line. Pass by Petrangelo. Now the Blues again right down the middle and covered by Quick. And he hangs on, and Steve Ott with a little shoving and some other shoving now. Tarasenko involved. Yeah, Regera trying to get under the skin of Tarasenko. Bob, that last play by Tarasenko, it was very similar to the last game where, again, that glide stride is into effect where he never gives you an indication of he's going right, he's going left. He doesn't take a stride on the play. Watch him in here. He stays, skates on the ice. He's just going back and forth, back and forth. And now, that's textbook. I mentioned that word a couple of times with Regera. The punch isn't textbook, although it's off the chin. That's okay, and he gives him another one right there, and actually gets away with a couple there. But he took the body, he took the man, he watched the chest. It's very difficult to do. A guy like Tarasenko is so deceptive, but on that play, that one-on-one, -on -one, Regeer did the job taking the body. Not a hard hit, but an effective hit. Four goals have been scored on the last five shots in four minutes and 23 seconds. Kings trailing three to one. Doug Mann, our statistician, busy here in the first period tonight. Puck taken by the Blues. 20 seconds left to go in the period. Pass up to center and then driven down in deep by Bo Meester. Comes around the right side. Check thrown by Regeer. Puck comes back to the right side. Now over to Bo Meester. He shoots and a save by Quick. He hangs on to it with 8.4 seconds to go in the first period. You know, so the Kings are kind of dodging a bullet here because of that power play goal, but that's what you need. You need the big guys to come up and you know, Daryl Sutter has been talking about that. He's you know, kind of stating the obvious at times because of how the offense has dipped a little bit for the Kings. Not falling off the charts, but the big guys. And of course, Kopitar was on the ice, Carter was on the ice, so it's something positive to look forward to, having fallen behind, three zip. Face off in the King zone to the right of Jonathan Quick. Carter ready on the draw, and he wins the face off back to Doughty. Doughty got it out to center ice into the St. Louis zone. One second to go, and that is the end of the first period. Not a great first period by the Kings, but they did get something positive near the end of the period on the goal by Gabriel. And Bob, I think that mental issue you're talking about might be the most important thing. Of course, the movement was good, but, you know, the penalty kill has been a struggle for the Kings of late. It really has fallen off, so you get something else going. Bordeaux finally beaten on the play. Kings trail the Blues 3-1. So for the Kings, Gabrick from Carter and Kopitar, but Bacchus, Gaskins, and Shattenkirk scored for St. Louis. Coming up, the snow report from Big Bear Mountain coming up right after this. And right now with the Blues leading 3-1, of course, the goaltender tonight for the Blues is Martin Brodeur, AT&T Rubers Rewind. We look back to 2012, Stanley Cup. Patch is on the jersey. Kopitar early in the series. Bordeaux making the save. Later on, though, of course, this is game six here at Staples Center. And Martin Bordeaux says, unbelievable to Jonathan Quick. And the Kings ended up winning, of course, in sixth game. That was back on June 11, 2012. Well, there's Martin Brodeur in a different uniform with a blue note on his chest. And he's got a 3-1 lead for the Blues as we start the second period. Kings at one time were down 3-0, got a power play goal as Gabrick scored his eighth of the year and the 3-1 score right now as we start period number two. Puck comes into the St. Louis zone and taken behind the net there by Petrangelo and then moved up the right side. Blues get it up to center and on the left side here is Bo Meester but tipped away from him and then back out to center and the Blues control it again. Here is Steen, Alexander Steen. Gives it back now in his own zone and then snapped up to the blue line of the Kings. Kicked ahead but taken away now by Gabrick. Gabrick's pass up to center to Carter. Carter on the right wing. Carter across the line. His pass ahead to Kopitar. Couldn't handle it. Comes over now to Gabrick. Back to the blue line. Kings keep it in there. Pass over to Kopitar. Rolls off his stick but Kopi gets it again. Now it's taken away by Oshi. T.J. Oshi. His pass then a shot wide to the right side by Petrangelo and the Kings back in to get it. Dropped off there and moved up by Martinez to center to Regeer. Now taken away by the Blues and here's Steve Ott. Ott trying to make a move. He did and a save by Quick. Puck comes back behind the net. Taken there and moved up the middle and out to center ice and the Kings chase it down but the Blues have the angle on it and 
getting back there and clearing it back out to center ice. The Blues got two of his Shattenkirk got back. Pass up the middle to Tarasenko, tipped away there, and then Martinez got clipped and a penalty coming up here against the Blues. It might be Steve Ott again, and this one might be one of those reputation penalties because both guys came together, no question about that. And Martinez is pretty upset because he was knocked off guard. And you'll see what here, the puck going around, and you know what, at the last second, yeah, you can understand why. You can see Steve Ott lean in there. And is this a headshot? If that elbow, and I think the elbow did make contact first, on the back side of there, good job guys going back and forth, and just bring it up, yeah, I think the elbow just come a, a little bit. We'll get at the end there, it's tucked. And that will probably get Steve Ott out of trouble. Interference is the call on the play, and it's been a game of power plays. Chance here for the Kings. Chance to get right back in the game with a man advantage. Here's Dowdy at the right point, St. Louis zone. Now over to Kopitar. Kopitar along the boards, right side, still has it. Heels back, Kopitar still with it. Down into the corner, taken by Carter in front and tipped and just wide. And the puck sent back to the right point. Dowdy holds it in. Here's Dowdy walking the line. Feeds it off on the left side. Now a shot. Kopitar tried to tip it in, couldn't do it. And the Blues get to it and clear it out to center ice. Well, the Kings have the Blues guessing a little bit here with the five man working the puck around pretty well. Change the point of attack. Do it once again, one side to the other. Kopitar down the right side, double team there. Bacchus got a stick on it. Now it comes down into Petrangelo. Petrangelo to Bacchus. He turns and clears it into the King zone. Minute 10 left to go in the King power play. Goal here will put him right back in the game. Here is Doughty. Starts back out to center. Doughty dropped it back. Kings with it. Pass over the right side. Williams couldn't get it off the boards, and it's cleared again, this time by Barrett Jackman. Just out of sync right there, and of course you credit the St. Louis Blues with a little bit of pressure up the ice, but the Kings had the plan, but they couldn't execute because the pass just a little bit behind. Drop pass back now and taken across the line by Richards. Got it off on the left side. Then a shot and a save by Brodeur. And it is cleared. King's second shot on this power play. It didn't look like it was going to be dangerous right there, but Martinez decided not to stop it up. He started to keep going forward, and through the middle was Richards. Now Martinez again. He drives it into the St. Into the, uh, St. Louis zone. Taken away by Brodeur, and he clears it himself. Back into the King zone. A little contact, Bordeaux goes down, but he gets right back up. Doesn't even look at the referee, no problem whatsoever. Kings start back out again with only nine seconds to go in the man advantage. Martinez throws it into the St. Louis zone. He goes for it himself in the corner. He gets it to Toffoli. Toffoli's pass to the blue line. Held in there, and then a shot wide off the boards. Power play is over. Blues have killed the penalty. Kings get it again, but a pass is deflected out to center. Broken up by Green. Green puts it back into the St. Louis zone. So the Kings fail in that opportunity to draw to within one goal here early in the second period. Blues clear it up to center and all the way down the King zone and Green back to get it. Icing called against St. Louis. Well, you get a chance. You get an uh, icing. You get an end zone face off and try to make it happen. Here's the backdoor play. The Kings have tried a couple of times. Look at the stick of Brodeur. Anytime the puck goes in the crease, rule of thumb, goaltender help out. Now the shot ends up back on net and a pad save, but Brodeur able to make the save that time right there. Stick between the legs, then it comes out, then Brodeur goes down, just off balance. He's not diving, he just got knocked off balance. Not enough for the trip, not enough for the dive. Kings with it here is Clifford driving in front, but his pass went wide to the left and the Blues try to clear it and they get a stick on it and it is cleared out to center ice. Then it rolls away there, deeper into the King zone, rolled off the stick of Brown, back to get it is Muzzin. Muzzin checked behind the net, but he stayed with it and got it over to Clifford. Clifford battling along the boards, got it out to center ice and down into the St. Louis zone, right toward the goaltender Brodeur. Martin Brodeur, he's in his fourth game in a Blues uniform. His record so far, two wins, one loss. And his goals against 2.64, save percentage, 90%. Hard check by Clifford. Blues have it, though. Jackman, right side, shot from there, and a save and a rebound picked up by Berglund. Berglund down in the corner. Back to the blue line to Jackman. Jackman checked there, but he holds it in. That previous shot by Lindbaum, and now it comes back into Berglund. He threw it back out to Lindbaum at the right point. Dowdy clip with something, and... The goaltender's mask is the determining factor with why the whistle is blown, Bobbitt. I think it happened 
Uh, about 15 seconds ago, there was a little traffic, and Jonathan Quick ends up getting clipped. And the mask stayed on for a long period of time, but then he probably realized that the clasp had become undone. We'll see if we pick it up there to get right in from behind. So if that puck goes in on that play, probably doesn't count because of the contact right there of Stastny. And again with Jonathan Quick, he's waiting to see, and finally he probably, once he moved again, he realized it was a little bit too loose. Then you get the attention of the referee, then you get the whistle. Quick comes into the game, tied for seventh in the NHL in goals against average. He's also eighth in save percentage with a save percentage of .922. Off the draw here, the Kings' Matt Green has it. Green had it roll off his stick right to the Blues, and Richards had to go back and get it. Puck comes around the boards and cleared to the blue line. Not out yet. Now McNabb, his pass up to center. Swept at by Richards. Comes deep into the St. Louis zone. Back behind the net. Williams goes for there. Rolls out in front. Kings try to get a stick on it at the blue line, but it's tipped away from Green. Picked up by the Blues. Left side, Reeves. Then a shot deflected wide and comes off the boards. The Blues... Trying to hold it in. Maxim Lapierre did hold it in. He gets checked by Green. Now the puck comes back to the blue line and taken by Bomeister. He drives it wide off the board back to Lapierre behind the net. Lapierre trying to come out in front. He gets a shot tipped up in the air. Quick is looking around for it. It bounces down to his left. And Quick covers it up here. That's a battle right there. And it's a battle of at least the St. Louis Blues fourth line out there. And they did a heck of a job with Reeves and Lapierre, Steen. Wouldn't put Steen on a fourth line. Earlier, though, the line gets it going here. You'll see the two-on-one develop. Look at McNabb. He's coming across. He's coming across. He's got to take away. See how he's deceptive right there? He skated at Reeves, made it look like he was going to come all the way across, then stopped, then took away the passing lane. That's what you have to do. And then, of course, at the end of the play, all the bodies bouncing around. That loose puck finally picked up. So that's what we saw in the first period early on. A lot of feisty play. Shot from the blue line uh, by St. Louis is deflected wide, and the Kings bring it back out to center ice. Blues with a 3-1 to one lead. They get it over to Jay Bomeister. Acquired from Calgary in 2013. Now from the right side, a shot that's off the boards and deflected wide, and Kings pick it up, and here comes Carter to center. Return pass to Carter. Across the line. Gets it over the right side to Gabrick. Gabrick up the middle. Kopitar. And the Kings are back to within one goal, trailing three to two. Kopitar with only his second in the last 15 games. Ken Hitchcock kind of swaying back and forth. This is an attack goal. Remember one of the keys is controlling the blue line? Watch here. Oh, she coughs it up. That's the first mistake. But then the blue line is not controlled because the Kings have speed. And then it's that second wave with Kopitar. There were so many things going on on that play that were positive. You'll see Muzzin. You see Carter. Both those guys, and there's a perfect shot. Great look there. Ice level. A perfect look at the where you shoot. Nowadays in the NHL, over the pad, under the blocker. But the setup is perfect. Kings right back in it. Kopitar with his seventh of the season, and now it's a 3-2 game. It was 3-0 St. Louis at one point in the first period. Kings get it again, but Dowdy's pass taken away. Picked up by Tarasenko. Tarasenko checked by Dowdy, and the puck cleared up to center ice. Taken now by the Blues back in their own zone. So the Kings have fought back this far, but they still have a ways to go. Puck is in the St. Louis zone, and it is almost stolen by the Kings, Kyle Clifford. Lindbaum gets it up to center, and here's Steve Ott. Ott left side, Ott with a man in front. He shoots and is blocked. Ott again, shot, saved by Quick. Puck comes out to center ice. Steve Ott with a couple opportunities, and Jonathan Quick had to find it. More than anything, with all the traffic drives to that, he had to find the puck, and he found it. Kopitar from Gabrick and Carter on the goal by the Kings. Pass in deep and a shot deflected wide. And the Kings go for it in the corner. Tipped away there to Berglund. Berglund gets it back to the blue line. And now the Blues moving around. Crisscrossing. Pass in front to Stasny's. Backhander hit the post. The red light went on, but it hit the post. I almost said score. Puck comes back to the blue line to Butler. He shoots and a save tipped into the corner. Very quick pushback, obviously, by the St. Louis Blues. Take it over. Blues shot by Stosny wide, and they've had some good opportunities here. Kings will have to get it out, get a whistle, long change period. So difficult thing. You want to get this all the way down so you can get some changes here. Tired players on the ice. Well, it was cleared by Stoll out to center ice, but the Blues go for it again. Maxim Lapierre. 
Papier and it tipped away by Dowdy, and now the Kings bring it back up to center. Pass ahead to Stoll. Stoll sends it in deep, and the Kings need a line change. 3-2 in favor of the Blues, but the Kings have had the last two goals. Pass up ahead, tipped down deep in the Kings' zone. LaPierre, sharp angle with a shot. Comes around the boards, and the Kings bring it up to center. Here's Williams. Williams, his pass over left side. Richards waits, shoots, saved by Brodeur. The Blues have control of it again and clear it back out to center. Broken up by Green. Green checked there by Reeves. Blues have it in their own zone. Back and forth, back and forth. Wide open here in the second period. Reeves checked by Green. The puck taken by the Kings, but a long pass doesn't connect. And an icing call against the Kings here. But the Kings are back in the game as they trail 3-2. Yeah, Kopitar, of course, the good shot. Again, it was Oshie with a turnover. But then the Blues come right back, trying to turn this game around right away. They had everything working. Ott once, Ott twice right there. Look at that. Going one way. Back the other way, and the flexibility right there of Jonathan Quick makes the save. A little bit later, there it is, off the post. That went seven hole right there. Quick was leaning forward. Backhand can be deceptive off the post. Otherwise, the Blues would re regain a two-goal lead right now. Kings right back in it. Jim, we've talked about the big guns getting back on the score sheet, and they've done it so far. Here's a shot by Bacchus. It's wide. Kovatar and Gabrick each have a goal and an assist, and Carter has two assists. Kings come across the line. Left side shot from there and a save by Brodeur. Rebound up the middle. Martinez shoots. It's wide to the right. Puck taken by the Kings. Williams. Williams sends it down into the corner and still a battle for it there along the boards by Pearson. It was Pearson's shot that was saved uh, moments ago. Now Pearson knocked down, but Williams gets it back to Martinez. He shoots and a save. And the puck picked up by the Blues. Pass to the blue line. Offside. Wasn't it? Pretty close. Good thing I'm not the referee. I'd have blown it dead. <laughs> Puck is taken by the Kings at center ice. Here's a backhander by Williams down into the corner of the blue zone and picked up there by Pateri Lindbaum. They get it up ahead now to center and it's dropped back and they take it away. Nice play there. Pass left side. Kopitar shoots and a save. Kopitar again behind the net. The puck was taken away by Carter on a nice play, and he gave it to Kopitar. Kopitar, now to Gabrick. Gabrick behind the net. Tried to throw it in front. Broken up, but not cleared. Held in by the Kings again. Now a loose puck. Blues are going to get to it, and they get it up to Steve Ott. Ott on the left wing side. He shoots, and he got knocked back by Green on a hard check of the blue line, and the puck came out of play. Wow, what a game tonight. 3-2 in favor of the Blues. But the Kings are coming back. If there's one thing coaches hate, turnovers. Oshie has the puck. This is offensive zone. Everything looking good for the St. Louis Blues. He's got it, but he just tries something that's not there. Kings go the other way. Couple of things to keep in mind. Jake Muzzin, who just makes that pass right there, right at the center line, he has a decision. Keep going or stop. He decides to keep going on the play. Blues try to get back and sort things out, but too many things going on. Carter's going to drive. Muzzin's going to keep going and just hanging back. Play in front of him. Look at that. Look at how wide open that is because Carter drives. Muzzin keeps going. If Muzzin stops there, maybe that play's not as wide open as it is for Kopitar, but it is. But that's where it started. T.J. Oshie with a turnover offensive zone. Puck taken by the Blues, and here's a shot by Stasny knocked away. Doughty had trouble with it, and it was picked up by Stasny. Back to the blue line. Shot from there is wide by Bomeister. Taken by McNabb into the corner. Kings move it along the boards, but not out yet. Blues get to it now, and it is into the corner again to Stasny, and Gab or, excuse me, uh, Kopitar is all over him. Stasny with it. To the blue line, it goes to Bomeister. His shot wide. Rebound sent back toward the net and tipped behind the net there. Gaskin's got his stick on it. Puck is still in the king zone. And taken by the Kings, they get it over to McNabb. McNabb gets it up ahead to center ice. Kings down 3-2. Here's Carter on the right wing. Carter gets a shot, but not hard, and wide to the right. There's Bo Meester with a reach. One of the few defensemen that can really control a guy like Jeff Carter because he uses a stick out in front of the body. Blues get it up to center ice. Chased down in by Backus. Backus down the corner. He gets checked there. And the puck taken by the Kings and back up to center. Here's Brown. Brown with a nice move. Another nice move. Brown right side shoots and a save. Rebound. Clifford went for it. Couldn't get it. Nice couple of moves by Brown. Puck is taken now by Steen. Moves it ahead and back behind the net. And it's covered by Quick. 
and he hangs on to it. So we will be back, and right after the break, Patrick O'Neill will be on the bench to talk with that man, Mike Richards. Mike Richards, you guys are back in this game. Just give me an idea of how, how the flow is out there. It's pretty exciting stuff. Yeah, we're getting more chances. We're uh, taking care of our own zone and making better passes on the way out. So it's, uh, that allows us to play in their zone with a lot more energy. Thanks for the time. I appreciate it. All right, thanks, Pat. Okay, before I send it back to you guys, I should point out that Robin Regeer is back in the training room. Kings are playing shorthanded right now in the blue line. Back to you. Well, that's an adjustment you have to make. And, you know, there are certain drills in practice, Bob. You have your normal pairs and you practice every once in a while. Coaches will put in a drill that everyone kind of mixes up. This is the reason here. A guy like Regeer goes to the dressing room during a game. you got to play with new partners, figure it out. Matera wins the draw for the Blues. Now Tarasenko with the blue line. Back over to Butler. Butler shoots and a save and a rebound. Picked up by the Kings and cleared out to center ice. Taken by Brown. Brown sends it across the line. Tarasenko back to get it. And Brown sends him up in the air and into the boards. Good hard check by Brown. Back come the Blues into the King zone. Here's Steve Ott. Ott on the right wing. Tried to pass it up the middle. Taken away by the Kings. Back they come in the right wing. It's Williams. Williams holds up. Still has it. Feeds it left side. Kings can't get a shot, but Williams picks up the loose puck. Gets it to the blue line to Richards. His shot blocked in front. Loose puck. And Ott clears it up ahead to center to Tarasenko. Tarasenko, he got rocked back on that. Checked by Brown. I don't know, Bob, if it has playoff intensity in this game, but it certainly has playoff speed, the pace of the game, the way both teams are moving the puck around at top speed. Dustin Brown, like most of the Kings tonight, trying to send a message to Tarasenko because of what happened in the last game. He scores three tonight. Every single chance the Kings have gotten. Regeer a couple times earlier throwing punches, and that finish check by Dustin Brown. I mean, you've got to do it. You've got to take the body. Tarasenko's already made the pass. Still fair game. You finish all the way, and... The Blues able to go the other way at the same time. Tarasenko not able to get involved in the play. There's Tarasenko and Brown now getting a rest on the benches. The Blues have scored in bunches. Tuesday night in St. Louis, the Blues scored three goals in two minutes and 30 seconds in the third period. Tonight, the Blues scored three goals in two minutes and 50 seconds in the first period. Blues holding in the King zone. It's broken up but not clear. Held in at the blue line by Lindbaum and taken away by King for the Kings and he gets it up ahead to center. Here is Richards across the line but a hand pass stops play. Now look out, Richards pushed into the boards there and tempers flare a little bit. What happened on the pass, it happened in the neutral zone and Justin Williams didn't bat the puck but the puck hit his hand and he slowed it down but he slowed it down right into the zone where Mike Richards could pick it up and that's the reason for the hand pass. I think Richards was kind of surprised by it. He didn't stop on the play. The Blues didn't like that he didn't stop on the play, and both teams come together. You can celebrate your L.A. Kings this holiday season. Tiffany & Company, 2014 L.A. Kings Championship Collection features jewelry, tumblers, cufflinks, and more. Visit tiffany.com slash L.A. Kings to purchase the perfect holiday gift for any Kings fan. Kings will be back here at Staples Center on Saturday against the Arizona Coyotes. That's a 1 o'clock start Saturday. Richards goes to the King bench. The Kings have it back in their own zone, and here's Green. Green gets it up to Carter. Carter on the right side. The Blues have nine players, different nine different players with a point in this game so far, and we're just past the midway mark by three minutes. Puck thrown down into the King zone, and... Back behind the net, cut up there by Quick. Quick pass over on the left side, taken by the Kings, Gabrick. Gabrick up on the right side, gives it to Carter. Carter across the line. Carter driving down into the corner. He gets stopped there. Kopitar in to try and get it. Puck taken away by Petrangelo and the Blues in their own zone. Still hemmed in a little bit. Now they get it over left side to Bo Meester, and it is taken away by the Kings. Carter. Left side, shot by Pearson, and it is wide to the right. Puck taken back in the King zone now by McNabb. Here's McNabb getting it over to Dowdy. Dowdy up to center. Feeds it over on the left side. Now driven down right side. Picked up there and a shot by Toffoli and a save by Brodeur. Bo Meester maybe gets his stick on that one to pass off the boards and chase it down, look for the shot. We mentioned the pace of this game, Bob. Ken Hitchcock, of course, recently talking about his team. He says, conservative, careful, doesn't work. Reckless. <laughs> that works. <laughs> you very rarely hear that I know. from a coach. But you know what he's talking about. He just wants them to play a little bit more on edge. And 
the way this pace has been, of course, in that first period, just buzzing around. The important fact tonight, though, power plays. The Kings have one, the Blues have two. This face-off in the blue zone to the left of Brodeur, and Lewis gets kicked out of the face-off spot. So the Kings do win the draw, though, back to Doughty. Pearson won the draw. Doughty gets it back over to Muzzin. He shoot, or McNabb, he shoots. Knocked down. Here's McNabb again. Threw it in front of the net. Blues break it up, and they bring it back out to across the blue line, but to Foley cut off the Blues there, and now they get it back over to Steen, and Steen sends it back deeper into his own zone. Kings into forecheck. Buck taken at the blue line, and now out to center ice. Pearson over to take it away for the Kings, but his pass going to be taken by Barrett Jackman. Jackman rips it around the boards over towards Steen. Steen backhanding, uh, backskating up to center, and he got hit there by Muzzin. Steen gets up, passes back to Jackman at his own blue line with 5.20 to go in the second period. Blues get it over toward Bacchus, who drives it down in deep, back behind the King net, taken there by Muzzin. He got hit, but Brown picks it up for the Kings. Here's Brown up to center. Brown snaps it into the zone, then he got hit pretty good there by Chris Porter. Buck is picked up by the Kings again, though, in the slot. Shot. Love saved by Brodeur. That's a good one. That's a real good one. The Kings, though, forcing the play. Simple plays, dump it in, keep the pressure on. And Martin Brodeur, Bob, he was able at the last second just to reach out, find it. But the Kings are turning it on. Simple plays. It's a big love save for Brodeur. Martin Brodeur is seeing a little bit of action. The last 6.43, the Kings have outshot the Blues 6-1. to one. Here's one right here. He gets a chance to see it. Watch the open glove. That's the way goaltenders play nowadays. You used to have to open it. Now most gloves stay open all the time. Martin Brodeur throughout his career. No question, Hall of Famer. Everyone understands that. Most wins, most shutouts, three Stanley Cups, four Vesnas. Bob, he was asked about Jonathan Quick the other day by Darren Pang, who does the color for the Blues. And he said, can, can you do the splits? Mark Tambor says, no, I can't do the splits. <laughs> said, it hurts when I even watch Jonathan Quick play when he does the splits. Doesn't matter, he gets it done. Well, Brodeur, lifetime against the Kings. 16 previous games, his record 8-6-2. Puck is held in by the Kings, and this one deflected wide. It came off of the stick of Brodeur, now picked up by Brown. Brown drops it off in the corner, and the Kings trying to get over there to pick it up. Clifford trying to poke it free. It's still underneath along the boards as uh, Bowmeister is there, but now it does come free and taken by Clifford into the slot. Clifford shoots a penalty coming up against the Blues. Now the Kings with a chance to tie it on the power play. Yes, yeah, slowly but surely and taken over. We talked about the shots on goal and Kyle Clifford not only keeps his legs moving, he gets inside position and he holds it. Watch the lean, right there. That little move right there, from that point on, he wants the incident. Another one right there. He reaches back, and you can see the stick there of Lapierre. No way Lapierre is getting there because Quick, excuse me, because Clifford had so much puck protection. That's what the Kings work on with their young players, the development system. One thing they work on, puck protection works right there. Lapierre, two for hooking, a shot, knocked down, rebound, Gavrick scores! He gets his second of the game, his ninth of the year, and the Kings have come from 3-0 down to tie the game at 3-3. Three three. Simplification. Win a draw and get a shot through. Now, the shot doesn't get all the way through, and we've talked about this a few times this year. When it doesn't get all the way through, look at Brodeur. You don't know where it's going to go. Now, by this time, now the quickness and hands are there for Gabrick. Watch him get it. Watch Gabra kind of jump across. Once he sees it, hits him. Brodeur thinks he's got it. Way too late. Not going to happen. But that all starts with just a simple play of Dowdy getting it through. Get it down low. And because it doesn't get through, the goaltender doesn't get a chance to feel the puck. Doesn't know where it is. He's lost on the play. Kings tied up. 3-3. Three to three. And the Kings have it at center ice now and brought across the line. And a shot deflect or not a shot went wide, not deflected wide, into the corner. Picked up by the Kings. Richards sent it around to Williams. Here's Williams with King. Williams pass taken away, and the Blues get it back up to center ice. Now, across the line, Tarasenko in deep, a backhander, score! Laterra 
puts the Blues ahead right after the Kings have tied it 3-3, and now they trail 4-3. Well, you come back like that, you have the power play working, and the St. Louis Blues with a center lane drive in Laterra. Laterra has been dry offensively as far as goals the last little while. You'll see him just kind of keep it going here. Nothing special. Looks like the Kings have enough numbers back. Little seam pass, and the backhand fools quick. That's one of those that any goaltender, I think, would feel is stoppable. Keep an eye to see if Quick is still moving. Yeah, he was never set. You see the shuffle? Jonathan Quick was in the middle of a shuffle. And look at the shot. It's not that hard. It's not that good, I'm going to say, but it's good enough to get by the goaltender. Set position is what you want if you're the goalie to cut down the angle. Quick is still moving, and the Blues regain a one-goal lead. Well, what a downer there for the Kings. They fought back from 3-0 to tie the game, and then quickly lose a shot. Saved by Quick that time on a long shot, and the Blues keep the pressure on in the Kings zone. 3.20 left to go here in the second period. Puck comes uh, back behind the net. Blues fighting for it there as uh, they control it. Puck taken on the right side by Yaskin to put it down into the corner and behind the net. Stasny with it. Gets it off on the right side. Picked up there and brought across by Berglund. Berglund, his pass to the blue line, comes out to center and Jackman has it and drives it right back up out of play into the crowd. You talk about being mentally tough now, Bob. We talked about that back in the open where the Kings are, are known as that type of team. That's what you need right now. Lonely man. He certainly is right now at this point. It's going to be a battle for Jonathan Quick. Again, the backhands are deceptive by nature, but again, the setup before the shot of Latero was that Jonathan was just moving across, trying to readjust the angle, but got caught in between on a shuffle. And then when you're moving one way, it's tough to control your body the other way. The Blues have that one goal lead. Now Kopitar chasing it down in deep on the goal by Gabrick to tie the game. Dowdy and Kopitar got the assist, but then Latero comes right back with an assist from Tarasenko at 16-17 to put the Blues ahead. Buck is picked up by Steen, and now along the boards, held in by the Kings. Kopitar, left side shot, just wide, rebound off the boards. It was Carter's shot, but it went wide, and now cleared out to center, and the Kings take it away. Here's Doughty, spinning away from a check. Well, that, certainly with uh, Daryl Sutterbob loading up with the top line, it's working. This line has been dominating just about every time on the ice. The power plays have been working, but even five on five, the Kings, the big gunners doing it. Here is Carter behind the net, tried to wheel it out in front, and still a battle. Carter has it again. Carter. All the way to the blue line, drops it off to Pearson. Pearson shoots, it's wide. Rebound off the boards, played now by the Blues. Picked up by T.J. Oshie. Checked by Lewis. Oshie gets it up to center and across the line into the King's zone. Batted back out to center ice. Kings take it there, but to Foley's pass, taken away and flipped high in the air into the King's zone. It bounces down and up over the glass. Out of play. A minute 43 to go here in this second period. It's only one of 82 games, but Bob, because of the way things have been going for the Kings, and because of the big offensive power guys a little bit quiet lately, now they're on their game. And this game now goes even more so than a normal situation. Again, it's only one of 82, but the Kings need point, at least one in this game, if not two, because Kopitar has been the producing. Carter has been producing. Gabbert's been producing. The guys everyone talked about has been producing. When that happens, the way you're going right now, you need to get some points, at least one, but the Kings need two. Blues win the draw, and Butler drives it into the King zone where McNabb has it. The Kings tied the game 3-3, and 36 seconds later, Laterra got his eighth from Tarasenko to put the Blues back ahead. Gabbert has been, certainly, he felt it two games ago. He talked about it after the game in Toronto. He carried it through into the following game in St. Louis, and of course, then again tonight. But you can see the instincts of a player like Gabbert tonight. Because his feet are always moving, he's finding pucks, or pucks are finding him. It doesn't matter. He's moving, and he's getting there. He's got five in the last three games, and the puck is cleared back behind the net. Chase there in the king zone, and who's going to get to it? The Blues have it. Dimitri Jaskins knocked down in the corner. He gets up, battles for it. Puck comes toward the back of the net again, and the Kings take it away, and they get it up on the right wing. Here now is Tyler Toffoli. Toffoli threw it down in deep. Toffoli goes into the corner, tried to pick it up, got help from Pearson. Toffoli has no goals in the last seven and only two in the last ten. And the puck taken by 
Butler as the Blues clear it out across the line. The Kings drive it right back in. Now we got Toffoli into a scrap, I think, with Butler. And he throws a punch at Butler. I think they're both going to go. I think they're both going to get it too, Bob. We'll see if maybe Toffoli gets more. He was more of the aggressor in the situation. I think both are going to end up in the box, but whether Toffoli just gets two or maybe gets four, now everyone comes together and Butler have a little chat with Mike Richards. That's the way this game was early, Bob. The feistiness was there, then it kind of went into a wide open game and more exciting offensively. Contact along the boards once, twice. But Toffoli has a little stick for Butler on the way by, and that's why Butler was upset. So two minutes each for roughing. We get to Foley while skating by, gave a little stick, and that was the reason the Blues were upset. And now we get another little bit of a change where you get the four on four skating. We have just a little bit of everything. Stashley ends up the guy in the box. And Foley, of course, was the aggressor for the Kings. And the Kings just trying to try to find a way here, any way whatsoever. Big one here in the last minute would be okay, I would guess, at this point. But, you know, you get behind 3 nothing. It's a long, long hole to climb yourself out of, and the Kings did. And then the backhand by Letera. Face off outside the blue line of the Blues. And it is taken by Tarasenko into the Kings' zone. Tarasenko right side with Letera. Back to the blue line. Shot from there by Bowmeister deflected way up into the air and it's taken by Dowdy and he gets it out to center. Here's Dowdy, across the line, St. Louis zone, pass, came back out to center before it could get to Muzzin. 30 seconds left to go in the second period. Puck taken by the Kings. Here's Kopitar, St. Louis zone, his pass in front, shot, saved by Brodeur as he made that save on Dowdy. And the puck cleared to the blue line and now out to center ice. 16 seconds to go in the period. What an attitude here by the Kings. Attitude attack, any chance possible. Keep going forward, make it work. Dowdy has the shot. I don't know about if Brodeur kind of saw it or felt it, but it somehow it just hit him. Three seconds ago, that's going to do it for this second period. Three goals scored in the period. Kopitar, Gabrick for the Kings, and Laterra puts the Blues ahead. 4-3 with one period to go and it's quite a battle tonight. It's a great game. Yeah. I mean, you know, you get the scoring, probably more scoring than we would ever expect it between these two teams. I know the Blues had five in the last game. One was an empty netter. Jonathan Quick goes off. Again, the mental toughness has to come to the forefront. It's never easy when you're trying to pick up two points, but the Kings' big gunners have done it tonight. And that's why I'm talking about this being more important for the Kings to get the two points. Well, this is Thursday night. That means Kings Weekly coming up right after Kings Live tonight. Here's Patrick and Alex for the preview of Kings Weekly. Well, center has been our great game so far down to the bench. Davis Payne, Kings assistant coach Davis. Want to ask you, the Kings are known as a team that handles momentum very well, but tonight's game, you're down by three. You tie it up. Then you're down again. Back on the bench, how do you maintain as much as possible that even keel? Well, there's lots of resolve in our preparation. We knew coming in, we're playing a good hockey team. We knew we were going to have to play well from start to finish. Uh, the fact that we got down, we were, we were pushing the game in the right direction. We intend to push that game in the same direction here for 20 and the third. Key uh, for the puck movement for your team there in the second period? Just make sure we're working back. They forecheck well and they get over top of us. And we got to make sure we're skating up ice, but skating up ice together. We feel if we've got outlets and options, we can get around these D. All right, Davis, thanks very much. So, yeah, you know, you get that option issue. We saw it on the goal by Kopitar where, you know, Muzzin keeps going and you have Carter driving. Everyone kind of opening up. When you have more than one option, that makes defenders try to sort things out. And many times they don't sort it out well. Puck ends up in the net. Four on four start here to period number three. Well, period number three is the big period for the St. Louis Blues. 38 goals they've scored in period number three. The most of any period in the games they played this year. Backus sends it around the boards. Left side, Kings take it away. Here's Kopitar to center. Kopitar with Carter. Down the right side. Kopitar to Carter. He scores to tie the game. Carter with his first in 14 games on the two-on-one. And it's 4-4. Four to four. Well, of course, it starts with Kopitar on the boards. But the finish is something that is special. 
because Jeff Carter has to skate so fast to get involved. Watch Kopitar. He just makes it work because of the balance. But he looks over once, looks over twice, looks over three times. Carter opened up, meaning as a right-handed shot on the left side, turns his body right there. And you see the patience? He didn't shoot it right away. I bet you there's a million players who would have shot that puck right away. Carter lets the puck do the work, lets it get by the goaltender. Well, the big dogs continue to work for the Kings. We're tied 4-4. And a shot is up high by Tarasenko, taken by the Kings. So the Kings have come from 3-0 down to tie it, from 4-3 down to tie it, and it's 4-4. Here's Muzzin trying to jump around to check. It goes into the corner, taken by Stoll. Stoll checked along the boards, and the puck is trying to be dug out of the, along the scum, scrum there by uh, Williams. King's still trying to get a stick out of it, and they do. Puck is taken now, and here is Doughty on a backhander. Save, rebound, Williams. Oh! Saved by Brodeur at point-blank range. The Kings almost took the lead. Doughty doing a dance, making it work, going one way, going back the other. And if I'm not mistaken, Bob, that man right there just reached out with a big mitt as big as possible to make the save. Rebound is there. It's there. You turn, Williams has it, and there it is. In all honesty, Brodeur is off balance here. Watch, he'll be falling back into his net. After the save, he'll fall back, but somehow manages to keep his eye. This will be a good look here. Look at the head. Goaltender's head's right there. Of course, if Williams is able to go right under the bar, that's going to be a goal. But the big glove makes the save. That's Martin Brodeur. Never get a butt up on a play. Carter with his third goal, or third point of the night, his eighth goal of the year. And the Blues send it down deep into the Kings zone. Both teams are back at full strength. That goal came four on four. And the Kings have tied it up at four to four. Pass off on the right side. Kings across the line again. They try to get it to Gabrick. Here is uh, Carter giving it to Kopitar. Kopitar to the blue line. The green shoots just deflected wide. Picked up by Kopitar behind the net. Kopitar still with it on his stick. All the way to the blue line. Over to green. He's got room. He shoots. Saved by Brodeur. Dominating performance by this line. And it's so good to see. Someone else might step up. The Kings have tied it up. Bounce gets the Kings onto the two-on-one. Look at Carter, middle of your screen. Watch him dig, dig, dig. He has to dig right here to get a position. Right now he's thinking about opening up. Watch him turn right there. There it is. Body's turned, legs are turned. Much like a tennis player, you gotta get your feet underneath you. You gotta have that balance. And Carter's able to do that at top speed. And the Kings tied up four to four. Carter with three points tonight is now tied to Foley for the point lead on the King team. Puck is held into the right point and now sent in front but broken up by the Blues. Kopitar has four points in the game tonight. Check along the boards there and a hard check thrown by McNabb on Steen. You can almost guess, Bob, but McNabb just coming across. That's his patented move right now. That's prototypical. Stand up, take the body right at the blue line just inside. Back is checked in the corner and the Kings bring it back to center. Clifford gave it to Richards. Richards left side. Richards pass in front. Just hit a skate and came back on the left wing side along the boards. Back has tried to hold it in. Kings tried to take it away, but they can't. Puck comes up to center ice and uh, down into the King zone. Both teams change on the fly. Mike Richards a little upset with himself, Bob. He had Steen back as a, a defender, a forward playing defense on that last attack, and he couldn't do, do something to make Steen make a decision. And really, the play ended up without a quality chance. Williams' shot went wide. It came out to the right point. Kings hold it in. Williams couldn't get it in the corner. Now sent around the boards, but uh, taken there by Martinez with a drive and deflected. Martinez, as we have said so many times, wastes no time. Shoot that puck. Puck comes up to center and all the way down the blue zone and up out of play. But what a game what? we have yeah, yeah. here tonight. Wow. <laughs> and the way it started, down three zip and the Blues all over the Kings and things working. And then the Kings just clawing their way back. Up and down momentum. Carl Jr. Sports Update coming up a little bit later. Them dirty desert dogs are going to be in town on Saturday afternoon. Of course, Arizona has been in a struggle. They're just trying to claw their way into any type of a confidence situation. Kopitar, Gabrick, Carter, four goals. Six assists, ten points. We asked for them to turn it on. They've turned it on. And even when they're not scoring points, they're dominating out there. Now the puck down in the corner of the King zone and moved around by Muzzin to Doughty. Doughty gets it up on the right side to Carter. Carter flipped it across the blue line, but it's taken away by Yori Laterra. He sent it back into the zone. 
4-4 the game here in the third period. 16.49 to go. Pass ahead. Kings across the line. Right side shot saved by Brodeur on the save on the right side by Lewis. I'm going to mention it again, Bob. Controlling the blue lines is one of the keys to this game, and I don't know if either team has really done it. I tell you, the Kings have had more attack chances against the St. Louis Blues, so you're coming at you here. Watch how the Blues end up backing off. Nice slash skating right there through the middle. Coming back towards the passer to be available. Make that pass a little bit easier, and the Kings able to keep up their speed once they hit the blue line. Face off one by the Blues. Stasny in his own zone. He faced off against Lewis. Puck is not cleared out. Kings hold it in. Down into the corner now. St. Louis zone. Kings have outshot the Blues 5-0 here in the third period. And tied the game. To Foley trying to get to it. Comes to the right point. Held in again. Now sent down and a shot is gloved by Brodeur. It looked like it was going wide, but he reached out and gloved it. Well, never a bad idea at this point. Never a bad idea. The way this game's going, you just keep it going and try to keep that momentum. And guess what happens over the boards again? Daryl Sutter's been going that line, and he should, and he knows. He understands. And, you know, energy is a concern, those types of things. But sometimes, you know, this line's played a whole bunch tonight, but it doesn't matter. Some nights you just feel great, the legs are there, and everyone's skating. That goal by Carter that tied it is eighth. Kopitar with the assist. 20 seconds into the third period. Blues get it to Bacchus. Here's David Bacchus up to center. His pass on the right side. Taken across the line and thrown behind the net. Doughty goes for there. Didn't get it on his stick. Blues still maintain control. Get it out to the point and a save by Quick on the shot by Shattenkirk. Kings back to center. Pass to Kopitar. Four points tonight for him. Cleared off his stick, back out to center, and driven back into the St. Louis zone. Kopitar going to go off uh, to the bench, and we got a whistle on the play and an icing call against the King. Kopitar will have to come back on, Bob. Because of that icing, you can't yeah. make the change. And This is the first shift this line has not had a chance in a long time. And they were out there against the Bacchus line, but because of the icing, you stay on again with Kopitar and Carter. Daryl Sutter told me yesterday at practice, He's put Carter with Kopitar to take the defensive pressure off of Carter to open up him for a little bit more offense. Well, if that was the plan, it's worked tonight. In the King zone, the faceoff here won by Kopitar to Doughty, and now up to center, here's Muzzin. Muzzin gains the red line, drives it into the St. Louis zone, and the Blues back to get it. Now the King's able to make that change, and the puck taken by the Blues' Laterra. Gets it up ahead to center. Across the line. A shot deflected up in the air. The shot by Tarasenko. And Green has a few words with Tarasenko. Yeah, that's a theme tonight. The Kings going after Tarasenko. Trying to knock him off stride tonight on Fox Sports Live. Gary Payton breaks down the biggest trade of this NBA season. Will DeMarco Murray be ready for Sunday? I don't think so. But a full report from Dallas. Donovan McNabb breaks down the race for the number one pick. It's a race I guess you don't want to be in. But the Titans and the Jaguars... Fox Sports Live on Fox Sports 1 and streaming live on Fox Sports Go. Face off in the King zone with 15 and a half to go here in the third period. Bob Miller along with Jim Fox, Patrick O'Neill, Sean O'Donnell, Alex Curry as the puck comes back to the blue line and out to center. Nice to be back with our own crew here with our statistician Doug Mann, Donna Moskal, our stage manager. Puck taken by the Blues into the King zone. Here's Patrick Berglund peeling back to the blue line. Throws it behind the net. Now a pass by Stasny. Then a sharp angle shot stopped by Quick, and he hangs on to it. Yeah, those are the only chances that the Blues are getting at this point. Something's on the angle, but they'll take it right now because they're just trying to, they're just trying to stabilize the game right now. The St. Louis Blues are. And I know we talked about it two nights ago where Ken Hitchcock is harping on his team for volume of shots, and volume can make it work. Volume can get your team going and also just control the tempo of the game. So that's the stage of the game the Blues are in right now. They're just trying to stabilize, and one way they do that, any opportunity, get a shot on goal. And on the draw here, the Blues pick it up. Oshie in front to Bacchus, and it went wide off to the right side, and the Kings trying to get control, and they do, and here's Williams. Up ahead to King at center, but it's taken away by Steen. Steen's had his helmet knocked off, and the puck taken now by Bacchus. Over to Oshi. He didn't hang on. Taken away by Dwight King. King to Stoll. Now to McNabb. And now over to Doughty. Robin Regeer went out in that second period and uh, has not come back. Upper body injury is what they're calling it right now. Here across the line. Nice move. Doughty shoots. And a save 
save, and he looked behind him. <laughs> Brodeur made the save, but he took a peek to see if it got by. Well, Drew Doughty, he's got the dancing shoes on tonight, doesn't he? Earlier on, he made that play, and they got the big glove save on Williams. This time, try to use the defenseman as a screen. Bo Meester at the last second there, you saw him just kind of drop to one knee and get out of the way. Where does it hit him? That's where I used to try to shoot, Bob, right in the, where the elbow is, because you can't get the shoulder on it, you can't get the glove on it, and sometimes it slides in, and that's where it hits Brodeur. And the goaltenders nowadays have much bigger equipment, so they can make bigger saves, and Brodeur gets a piece of that one. Kings uh, have it again, left side, held in by Martinez. He throws it toward the net, saved by Brodeur. Puck taken by the King, by the Blues, Gaskins gets it out to center, and now it's flipped to the King line and into the King zone. 4-4 the score at one time early in the game, in case you weren't with us. Kings were down 3-0. They tied it, and 36 seconds later, the Blues took the lead at 4-3, and now the Kings tie it 20 seconds into the third period. Blues in their own zone, move it up the right side. Shattenkirk got it ahead to the blue line, and then at center ice, Yaskins gets checked there by Muzzin, and here comes Doughty. Doughty to center, gives it to Kopitar. Kopitar shoots it in, up high and gloved by Brodeur. Kings wanted the momentum to keep going right there. It might be a five-man attack. Doughty's skating. The Kings are skating. The Blues have four. The Kings have four. Game we have going on here tonight. I'm Patrick O'Neill, and for our Carl's Jr. Sports Update, we're going to look ahead to Saturday. One o'clock game, 12:30, of course. Kings Live versus Dem Desert Dogs, the Arizona Coyotes. The third meeting, the first one, Oliver Ekman Larson, an overtime game winner. In the second one, it was Martin Jones with the shutout. But hey, we're one game at a time. Let's focus on this one. Andre Kopitar has tied his career high in points tonight. Fourth time he's had four points in a game. Guys, it's just would it would be fitting, wouldn't it, if he could set his career here tonight let's go for five let's Patrick. do it make it six we'll take an empty netter but it's been one of those where as Sean O'Donnell said earlier everyone expected more of a tight game you know the checking we had that early but since then wide open Kings win the draw Muzzin his shot blocked back out to center ice and chased down into the King zone and taken there by Doughty Doughty being chased from behind by TJ Oshie Doughty pulls up gives it back to Muzzin Muzzin back to Doughty. Oshie is right there, but the Kings get it up on the right side, and now to center ice. Here's Carter. Carter over to Gabrick. Gabrick looking for the hat trick. Gabrick in deep, throws it back in front, comes into the corner, taken there by Carter. Carter now pass to Doughty in front, and Kopitar just couldn't get a stick on it to tip it in, and Bacchus clears it up to center ice. Taken there by Petrangelo. He is checked by Kopitar, and the puck comes around on the left wing of the King zone, played by Muzzin, and his pass comes up and out of play. Lucky it goes into the bench and not over the bench. If it goes over the bench, that would be that automatic penalty for delay a game. But ah, you get the puck out of the zone, that's okay. Faceoff comes back. Toyota game analysis. Top line dominance. And it has been dominating. Again, the Blues, they have everyone working. They're spreading it out. Three for Gabrick points. Four for Kopitar. Jeff Carter. Jeff Carter on his goal, Baba. I mentioned it way back. I think he's the most dangerous. Way back in the pregame show, most dangerous coming from behind with speed. That's what happened. Here is uh, Tarasenko on the right side. His pass to the blue line. Held in by the Blues. Pass back into the right wing corner. Tarasenko goes for it. He's got it. He shoots. It's blocked and picked up by Clifford. Clifford avoids a check. Sends it up to center ice. Mike Richards ends up blocking that shot, Bob. It took him a kind of a half step to get up. But Tarasenko, you got to make sure it doesn't get there. And he got around and in front of the uh, defender of the Kings to get that shot. Puck taken by the Kings now back in their own zone. Here is Martinez up to center ice, swept down in deep by King. Brodeur sends it into the corner. We're in the third period, 4-4 the score. Puck taken by Ryan Reeves. Reeves for the Blues on the right wing. Big guy barreling down in deep and fanned on his shot. Gets it again. Wrap around and a save and the puck is loose and taken by the King. Dowdy had to do the old stick on stick. Cross him up. If not, the Blues have a lead here. Dowdy outstanding defense right in his own crease. Hard check at center by Reeves and he may have gotten a penalty. He hit uh, stole and knocked him into the boards and I think he's going to get the penalty. That's exactly what's going to happen. Bob Reeves going to the box. The Kings trying to take a lead here. Mentioned Mike Richards earlier. Turn and spin by Tarasenko. Look at this. He eludes the check. Look at Richard. Just gets in the way. Almost like a goaltender. Takes that just above the knee. 
and then in front, high above Staples Center. Watch this. Puck's there. Look at Downey. Protect, protect, protect. He's going for the man. That's what you're doing right there. You lock it up. You forget about the puck. You don't know where the puck is. You're not going to find it. If you do, you're going to find it in the back of your own net. Dowdy takes the man, not the puck. Penalty on the play. Too late right there by Reeves. He comes across. Stolen had already dropped off the puck well before the contact. Kings, five on four, man advantage. Kings on the power play. They are two out of five tonight with six shots. A long shot by the Blues comes down into the King zone. Reeves for interference at 8.01, and the Kings with a chance to take the lead for the first time tonight. Here is Muzzin to center, moved it on the right side. Carter sent it in deep. Brodeur breaks it up. Brodeur's pass, he gave it right away to Kopitar. Kopitar protects it, gives it to Carter, tips it back to the right point to Dowdy. He shoots, blocked, over to Kopitar. Kopitar... Makes a move with it, still has it along the boards. Kopitar hangs on, Kings on the power play, pinching in his muzzin. They get, couldn't get it to him, but it's held in now by Carter. Carter, left side to muzzin, his pass in deep, broken up for a moment, but the Kings get it back again. Now behind the net, here's Kopitar. Kopitar checked by Steen, to Carter, save made, rebound to muzzin. Takes a shot, moves around, then he shoots, score! And the Kings lead for the first time tonight. What a game tonight. What a battle by the Kings. First time they've led in the game after being down 3-0 and 4-3. Muzzin has to show composure. He wants to tag it, but then he says no. Block shot. Then he goes around. Then he holds. There's the head up. What a shot. Whoa. What a shot. Reminds me of that shot he made in the playoffs last year against the Chicago Blackhawks where he goes short side top. But the Kings kept that puck alive a few times, too. Again, puck recovery, power play situations. You don't get a lot of credit at the time, but if you keep getting the puck back, you make it work. And Jake Muzzin, who is as good as anyone at changing the angle and making sure it gets through, it gets through right to the back of the net. Kings lead 5-4. to four. Kings are 3 out of 6 on the power play tonight. As the puck comes up to seven, uh, center ice, taken away by the Kings, and back they come across the line. Here's Williams. Williams peels back, gives it there, and a shot up in the air. The shot by Martinez, tipped into the corner to King. Now King trying to get it over to Williams. Williams sent it around the right side, stole going for it. Puck taken by Yaskins for St. Louis and picked up by the Kings. Here's Dwight King for the Blues, take it away. They come to center, working on a three on two. Across the line, right side. Yaskin tried to pull it down in deep, tipped away, and Yaskin goes for it again. Now the puck loose. It was tipped away from Yaskins by Martinez. Still a battle in the King zone. 10-11 left to go in the third period. 5-4, Kings lead. Puck held in by the Blues. They get it over now to the blue line. Held in there at the left point. Pass over to Dimitri Jaskins on the right wing side. He gets pinned there. Pass in front. Oh. Saved by Quick. A great pass in front and a save by Quick. And he hangs on for the faceoff. Oh, did he come up with a big save there. First time in a while the Blues had any type of chances. Muzzin, top shelf. Kings lead by one. Drew Doughty's up in a sweet night now, but he's in dancing tonight, and everyone dancing at Staples Center here. But it was Jake Muzzin gets it done. Watch Kopitar. Feels the pressure one way and spins the other. Petrangelo thinks he's going to have Kopitar. But watch Andre. Body first, puck second, and then turn and spin. Gets to an area. Other thing to keep in mind, traffic. Traffic is there. Watch the head of the goaltender. Brodeur has to lean one way. Look at the stick of Jake Muzzin. Jake Muzzin's stick is cocked way high in the air. Everyone's expecting a shot. Even Gabra continues to put on some traffic right there. Look at Brodeur. He can't find it. He doesn't know where it is. Can't see the shot. Kings lead 5-4. to four. Jake Muzzin with his third, his fifth point in the last five games. Blues with a shot saved by Quick. And the puck taken by the Kings up to center ice. The shot was by Tarasenko, and Quick made the save. Now the puck... Chased down by Clifford. Clifford checked there by Laterra. Clifford down to the ice. Laterra trying to dig it out for the Blues. Puck is picked up now. Gabrick gets an assist on that goal by Muzzin. Now along the boards. Kings keep it in. Down into the corner. Kings with it. Here is Brown. Spinning. Trying to get away. 
from Bo Meester. All the way to the blue line. Then he keeps it in, throws it on the right side. Kings get it down in the corner to Clifford. Clifford being checked there by Laterra. Clifford spinning and now spins again. Clifford doing a great job. Then a pass in front. Kings knock it down. And then a shot that's not down by Brodeur. And he covers up. And now we get a scrap behind the net. Petrangelo with Lewis. Yeah, upset with Lewis going after the puck. Bob, the Kings made four-player change on that shift and kept the puck in the offensive zone. Clifford was the only man that really stayed on the ice. That's a solid forecheck. That's exactly the type of shift you need. Nine minutes remaining. A reminder, you can donate toys at any entrance to Staples Center this Saturday prior to the Kings Coyotes game. All donations, which benefit local charitable organizations, will be met with a raffle ticket. You give us something, we try to give you something back for a chance to win LA Kings memorabilia. And you can see what happens here at Staples Center. Thank you so much to the Kings fans over the years, this year, every year, so generous and helping out so many different people. The assists on the goal to put the Kings ahead went to Gabrick and Carter. So Carter now with four points in the game tonight. He is the Kings leading scorer right now with 24 points. One ahead of Toffoli. Blues in their own zone. 8.40 left to go. The Blues have really come back with seven minutes left to go in the third period in several games. It is offside called here against the Blues as Oshie brought it across the line. It's one of those games, Bob, where Daryl Sutter is just going to keep going with his line. Very rarely does Daryl Sutter not roll four lines. And in this game, rightly so. He's had to go with a hot hand at times. Yeah, you got to put in uh, certain guys every once in a while, but... Just about every opportunity he's had to go with that double shift, meaning you don't wait four lines, you maybe go on the third. That's the Kopitar, Carter, Gabrick. They've been out there. And the puck in the king zone. Muzzin gets it off on the right side, and it is cleared up in the air and out to center. Well, here's what that line has done. Gabrick, two goals to assist. Kopitar and Carter. Hang on a second. There's a shot saved by Brodeur on the shot by Toffoli. Counterattack, neutral zone. More pushing and shoving. This is the way we started the game. Then it turned to a scoring fest. Like the scoring fest better. Yeah. Well, as I said, we had Gabrick, two goals, two assists. Kopitar and Carter each have a goal and three assists. Toffoli right there gets the shot just before that. He was very solid along the boards. You got to keep going with the little things. 8-11 remaining. I'm not going to say anything yet because I just have on my mind what I talked about way back on the open. We're seeing a lot of that tonight from the LA Kings. Let's hope we see more and more as we get down to the nitty-gritty time. Then maybe it's time for someone else. They're trying to find the puck here, Bob. Can I get some help from Mike Hassan, our director? Where's the puck? Hey, you talk about rebound control. <laughs> That's rebound control. And they're still trying to figure it out. Of course, gonna... they, they want to find it, Bob, because just in case, what happens if the play starts again and it drops out? You yeah. know, it's just there. Well, there's two pucks on the ice, so... <laughs> he may have to get undressed before we find it. That's right. <laughs> and he'll probably... He's going, I don't know. They might... Uh, yeah, they're going to send him to the to the bench to, to figure out what's going on. They know what's going on. They just can't figure out where the puck is. Well, I've seen a lot of weird things. I've seen it... You know, a goaltender or a player shake a little bit and the puck comes out. <laughs> but... We've been talking about dancing tonight. Dowdy dancing, the fans dancing. Maybe Martin's going to have to do a little dance right here to shake it loose. <laughs> <laughs> Ants in your pants, huh? There, there it is. is. Hey. You got it. Well. <laughs> That's right. He's played all the games, all the wins. Here it comes. And nice torque on the stick there. And it just gets up. Off the top of the pads, then up underneath, then crunch it up, <laughs> then hold on and <laughs> fool everyone. Oh, the old hidden puck trick. Well, they found it and we're ready to face off in the St. Louis zone. Kings power play started tonight 0 for 2, and since then they're 3 out of 4. Kings with it. Pass behind the net, still loose, picked up by the Kings, and they get it out. Uh, wanted to get it to Muzzin, it never got there. Taken up to center by Tarasenko, and he loses it there. It's tipped away, and the Kings send it back down in, and it's gone! They just flipped it in, and it went by Brodeur and hopped up over him, and the Kings lead 6-4. to four. We've seen it all tonight. <laughs> Thereabouts, 
bounces, and then there are bounces. Let's be fair to Mark Tambronier here. King dumps in. Watch how high this bounces. Oh. It goes right. That's a water bottle goal. And Brodeur is just stunned. He doesn't know what to do. Watch, he loses the balance. He's going forward. He tries to jump at it at first, just to try to smother it. And Dwight King picks the corner <laughs> for the sixth goal tonight. Wow. Six four Kings. Unbelievable. The Kings. To reiterate, we're down 3 nothing in the first period. Now the puck comes up the center, and here's Gabrick. He's got two tonight. Gabrick across the line to Kopitar. He shoots. Deflected back into the corner. Kopitar gets knocked down. Puck taken now by Carter, and a save. And the puck comes up in the air. Taken by T.J. Oshie. Here's Oshie with it. Stoll gets an assist on the goal by King. Oshie, nice move. Shoots. Deflected into the corner, and the Kings with it. So King with his fourth of the year, stole with the assist at 12.06, and the Kings now have a 6-4 to four lead. Broken stick by Backus back in his own zone. Now the puck taken by the Blues, and they're back in their own zone as they try to get it to center ice, but Steen gets cut off there by Brown. Now pass taken away by the Kings. Picked up there and flipped across the line. There's Mike Richards. Smarts right there in the neutral zone. The Kings have been real solid on the boards here in the third period. Really hasn't turned into goals, but get the puck out of the zone. Blues come back. McNabb with a check there on Berglund. Puck comes in to Clifford. He gets hit. Puck in the corner. Blues trying to dig it out. Clifford got a stick on it. And still a battle now. Pass into the corner. Blues with it again. Passed up the middle. Knocked down there by Berglund, but taken away by Brown, and he clears to center. And it was Richards initially there, Bob, who broke it up. So the little things being done right here by Mike Richards. Not offensive things, defensive things. Early, we saw the block shot right there, breaking up the play. Blues hold it in the King zone. Down to the right wing corner. Shots this period. The Kings 14, the Blues 5 in the third period. And the Kings called for icing here with six minutes exactly left to go in the third. I used to play shortstop, Bob, when I was playing baseball, and every once in a while there would be a bad hop. But I don't know if I've seen one like this. Kings just trying to gain territory. Yeah, it skipped once. And then, of course, on the final one, uh, you can't blame the goaltender there. Like Kings just, <laughs> he's always got that permagrin. The players kid him about that. He always looks like he's smiling. Big reason to smile right there. You'll take him any way you get him. 12.06, the time of that goal. And the Kings now along the boards, and it is cleared over to Martinez. He got it out to center to the Blues line, broken up there by Bomeister. Over to Petrangelo. Now to center ice. Sent down deep into the zone, and Muzzin back to get it, and he got hit hard by Ott. Huck comes back out to center ice. Bomeister got it over to Petrangelo. Now pass up to center, taken by Ott. Kings take it away, though, for a moment inside the zone. Now Ott gets it again. He sent it back into his own zone. Now it's moved ahead by Laterra and broken up. Sent back into the St. Louis zone. Kings and the Blues in the final meeting of this season. Each team has won one before. Puck comes to center. Tipped down into the Kings zone, and Jonathan Quick stops it behind the net. Kings get to it. They get it over to Williams. Williams pass. Played off the boards and sent up ahead by Stoll to King. King, right side, looking for a trailer. Sends it down behind the net. Picked up now in the corner and taken there by Butler. Blues move it up ahead and now under five minutes to go in the third. Long pass into the King zone and icing against St. Louis. The Kings continue to be strong on the boards in their zone. I mentioned Mike Richards a couple times breaking up plays. and. You're just looking for all the positives, and you should be in tonight's game because of the way things have happened. Down 3-0. The fourth goal was considered a stoppable one. Laterra put the Blues back in front. So, so many different times in this game where the Kings could have looked at themselves and felt sorry for themselves has not happened. They just keep going back and, of course, jumping on the shoulders of the big line. Kings get it back to Muzz, and he shoots and a save and a rebound. Went off the glove of Brodeur, but... Kings couldn't get to it in time. Now here's Doughty. Back over to Muzzin. He shoots. Tipped into the corner, and the Blues move it up to center ice and down into the King zone. Doughty back to get it. Doughty reverses it off on the left side. The Blues had a 3-0 lead, and since then, the Kings have outscored them 6-1.
And since the end of the first period, the Kings have 28 shots, the Blues 13. Now a check along the boards there by the Kings back in the blue zone, but it's picked up and brought into the Kings zone now, and a shot blocked into the corner, taken by Martinez. So many blocks here in the third by the Kings, too. Shot from the point, blocked, picked up by the Blues again. Steen, back to the point, shot from there is wide, rebound behind the net. Backus goes for it, gets it out to the point, and out to center ice before the Blues could control it. Bomeister had to go back to center ice, then give it to Steen. Here's Steen across the line. Steen on the backhand pass in front, broken up there as the Kings pick it up. It was broken up by Green and then cleared by Richards up on the right side. Kings across the line. Kings still with it. St. Louis zone thrown in deep by Toffoli. Now a hard check down in there on Gabrick. Got hit by Petrangelo. Puck is down in deep. Or Clifford, I should say, it wasn't uh, Gabrick. Clifford got hit. Puck is taken now, and things getting a little wild out there as the clock runs down to 3.05 left to go in the third. Don't go away. Not with this one. Blues with it. They're an explosive team. They get it to the blue line. Now over to Stasny. Paul Stasny back to the blue line. Driven down behind the net. Here's Jaskins. Wrap around. Picked up by the Kings. Can they clear? Yes, out to center ice. Yeah, the defending has been there for the Kings. I know the Blues are putting on a, a push right here, and they have to because of the score and all that, but the Kings are getting to spots. They're making the little plays, sticks and shooting, passing lanes, the block shots we've talked about, but plays along the boards very strong here in the third period. Martinez has it. He gives it in. Now the Kings pass taken away. Blues have it in deep. Here's Tarasenko. Tarasenko checked by Green. Tarasenko moves it up the middle to Steen. Steen flipped it back behind the net. Blues with a push on as Steen goes forward and so is uh, Ott back there. Puck taken now by Laterra. Yori Laterra. His pass taken away by King. Didn't clear. Puck held in by Barrett Jackman down in behind the net to Ott. He got checked there. The Kings with it again and this time Williams clears it up in the air to center. They pulled the goaltender. The net is wide open. Brodeur is on the bench. Kings trying to get a shot at the empty net. Under two minutes to go in the third. Kings with a 6-4 to four lead. Puck comes to the blue line. Held in there. Driven along the boards. Still a battle now in the Kings zone. And who's going to get control? Comes to the Blues. Picked up there and sent in front. Broken up. Left side. Blues still have it. They got the extra attack around. Puck taken away and cleared out the center, but not enough on it for the empty net. Now Carter wanted to make sure it wasn't an icing. He just wanted to get out of the zone. Now a minute 30 left to go. Here's Laterra, dropped it back. Sent down in behind the net by Petrangelo. Comes around the boards to Steen. Then a shot knocked down by Quick. Rebound to Kopitar. Kopitar plays it up on the glass. Steen took it away. Held in at the blue line. And sent toward the net. Doughty got knocked down, but a pass now tipped out the center ice. And now we're coming down, and it was knocked out of the air with a high stick. So there's 105 to go in regulation. And everything on the outside here for the St. Louis Blues, and you credit the LA Kings for that. It's certainly been one of those team effort games as far as the adjustment here in the third period by the Kings. The role players have been doing their jobs in the areas they have to. We're gonna get a timeout call here. The St. Louis Blues make the timeout call. Of course, last game, going back to Tuesday, it was a five-on-three situation, and the St. Louis Blues called a timeout, and then they came out and executed like nobody's business. Tonight, a completely different story. Ken Hitchcock and his team. Remember back to that quote we saw earlier where he says his team plays better when it's reckless? Well, I don't know if it was reckless the way he wanted it tonight, but the Kings' big line takes over. They try to get it done. Different situation here. Now you're probably in a more of a shot situation than normal because you're down by two if you're the Blues. Of course, anytime you pull the goaltender, you want to get the shots. There they are. They were called out, and they did it. Kopitar, Carter, and Daryl Sutter loading up. He had Gabrick on that line. I mean, there's all the three best snipers the Kings can put on the ice. And for most of the night, they've been on the ice together. The Kings had six goals against the Edmonton Oilers back on the 14th of October. They have tied that output here tonight with six as they lead 6-4 and a minute five to go in regulation. Brodeur goes back in front of the net for this faceoff at center ice. And off the draw, 
Check thrown by Muzzin as Oshi had it. Now Oshi with it in the slot. His pass down in deep and knocked away by Quick, who got hit there as the Blues crashed the net. Puck comes back to the right point. Brodeur gone again. Net is wide open to the other end. A shot knocked down and just wide to the right. The mask is off of Quick, and the whistle stops playing. And he makes another big one here, Bob. A lot of different areas of mental toughness. Just regrouping from the last game, where you dominate two periods and you get beat in the game. Third period, watch this here, right on top of it. I mean, Quick's right, that shot was elevated there by Stasny, but not high enough, it had to be perfect. And then the mask comes off again. You go back to the last game, you got a rebound. Then you come to the Knights game. You're down three nothing, and you've got a rebound. You do, you come, you tie it up. Then, what a lot of people say would be a soft goal goes in, you're down, oh, down four. Then you bounce back again. Mental toughness is a big trait with this LA Kings hockey team. They're trying to hold on here, 44 seconds remaining. Back us on the draw in the King zone, facing off against uh, Richards. A couple players jumped too soon. Now we're ready for the face-off. And the Blues win the draw. Back to the right point. Steen shoots. Tipped in front and a save by Quick. And Bacchus was right in front of the net. Kings can't clear it out. The net is wide open to the St. Louis end. Here's Bacchus. His pass comes off the boards, out the center, and all the way back into his own zone. If it caroms into his own net, that's the end of the game. Kings get the goal. 21 seconds to go. Kings up by two. Puck taken by the Blues. Jim, I don't want to jinx anything, but what can a win like this do for a team? It could be a turning point in the season. Puck comes back on the left side, a shot wide, seven seconds to go. The Kings clear at the center, empty net, and the Kings with it. Williams shoots, it's blocked, but the game is over, and what a comeback by the Kings. And these fans are on their feet as the Kings win it, 6-4, to four, coming from a 3-0 deficit. So the Kings end their three-game losing streak, and they break the five-game winning streak of the St. Louis Blues. Land Rover player of the game. He was dominant. The line was dominant. As I mentioned earlier, Bob, it was one of those games where you could tell earlier with Marion Gabrick. He found pucks, and the pucks found him. John and Quick. His teammates help him out. How many times has he won games for his teammates? Well, they come back and win one for him. Mental toughness comes right to the forefront. We talked about that way back in the open. Kings win it 6-4. to four.